Welcome back to Keep Up News Channel. Ready or not Liverpool 2 Aston Villa 0, Reds march on in huge clash, but win marred by worrying Alexander-Arnold blow. For no more than a flash and a flicker, but still enough to send Liverpool five points clear after a Red Arrows raid that had all the hallmarks of the previous Anfield gaffer. A couple of rampant end-to-end -end counter thrusts served up every week under Jurgen Klopp, finished by a Darwin Nunez piledriver and a magical M.O. Sulla clip for a 2-0 win. Ever since Slot stepped into Klopp's shoes, the game plan has been more methodical than mayhem. The days of 100 miles per hour, in your face football aren't the Dutchman's style. How ironic, then, that it took a breakaway goal straight from the Klopp handbook for them to find a way to break the deadlock. A length of the field assault stemming from a villa corner, and a finish which threatened to take the net from its moorings. It was certainly enough to send Anfield wild. Although to be fair, that stunning Brighton win had got this place buzzing half an hour before they even kicked off on Merseyside. You know those famous European evenings they speak of so fondly here? Well there was a very similar air to events last night, thanks to that result at the Amex Stadium. It was as though every copite realized that what they initially felt would be just one more step down a nine-month journey, could actually be a giant stride instead. Make no mistake, there was that feel about it all. Knowing this was a chance to open up daylight on City, going into the international break. Against a side whose form as they arrived in town couldn't have offered a starker contrast to the Reds, either after four games without a win, the last three of them losses. The perfect setting for an Anfield onslaught, you thought. For Liverpool to tear out of the traps and put their opponents on the canvas before they know it. Only the 2024-25 version doesn't tend to do that. It is a more measured, pick-your-moments one. Mind you, when those moments arrive, the end product is just as devastating as any of those blow-your-socks-off days under Klopp. As we saw after 20 minutes. Liverpool were actually defending a corner when it broke to Virgil van Dijk a couple of yards outside his own box. The red skipper didn't need to pause, didn't need to look up. He knew M.O. Sulla would be on his bike and clip the most measured of balls for the Egyptian. Sulla went stumbling courtesy of the backtracking Leon Bailey, but not before he had slid a pass forward to Darwin Nunez. And although a rather hefty first touch initially seemed to have taken him too wide as he rounded keeper Emmy Martinez, Nunez spun and smashed in the opener. In a nanosecond yells for Bailey to be sent off, turned to screams of celebration at the breakthrough. And credit to referee David Coot as well, for letting play continue when Bailey laid a hand on Sulla's back. Although perhaps that is being a little kind to the official, as it was hard to say whether he was waving play on or to signal there had been no foul by the Villa man. Thank heavens, then, that Nunez buried the chance. No case to answer and no chance of keeping out a thunderbolt that nearly took the net from its moorings. Only a second Prem goal of the season for the Uruguayan forward, and ten minutes later, he really should have been celebrating a third. Again it stemmed from a villa corner, and again they were sliced open by a lightning strike. Excusable once, but a second time? No wonder manager Emery looked ready to explode. He surely would have done if the finish from Nunez had been as deadly as his first, too when Sulla once more sent him scooting clear. But this time, for all it was a far kinder angle to the left of the penalty spot, he blazed over and Villa breathed again. You still never really felt it would come back to haunt Liverpool. Yet minutes later it so very nearly did. Again it was a Villa corner, but this time Lucas Digny's delivery found Amadou Onana's head, and Quiven Kelleher produced a fine reaction save to tip it over. And the Liverpool keeper did the same again soon after, when Digny whipped over another that would have gone in without a touch had he not been so alert. Just as Ryan Gravenberch was when he threw himself to block Ollie Watkins, when he seemed certain to bury the follow-up. The lead remained intact, but not until four minutes from time could they ever relax. And wouldn't you know, it took another full-length raid to bring it about. There was a hefty slice of luck when Diego Carlos headed against Sulla on halfway and the cop striker went streaking through. But there was nothing fortunate about his finish, waiting for Martinez to commit before dinking into the far corner. Job done, once it was confirmed, with Pau Torres laughingly trying to claim a penalty at the other end, and five points clear. Source, thesun.co.uk Please like share and subscribe.
Thank you for watching.